Okay, so now I'm going to uh, give a set of results that uh, we uh, introduced in the last few years, which uh, basically bridge the gap. Uh, and I'll start by um, a few results on, on how do we adapt classical learning procedures uh, to uh, work with missing values. <clears throat> and the first thing that we can do is that we can uh, use imputation uh, uh, and we can impute the test. So suppose that we're given uh, F star, which is the base predictor on fully observed data. I'm not telling you how we got it. Maybe we had enough uh, uh, data in a training set that was fully observed, uh, but we're just given this base predictor on the fully observed data. And then what I'm telling you in this expression here is that I can build um, uh, using uh, expectation on uh, the conditional distribution of the missing given the observed. I can build a base optimal predictor that works on uh, partially observed data. And for this, I need to compute the expectation on the uh, missing given the observed. And this can be done uh, uh, using multiple imputation by sampling. So really, at test time, I can sample uh, multiple imputations and I can basically average uh, the predictions. If, by chance, I have um, the base predictor on the fully observed uh, data, which is uh, a big if, but uh, and, and one comment is that in general, single imputation is not a consistent. I can't take a base predictor which, uh, uh, for fully observed data and convert it to a base predictor for partially observed data uh, um, with sing a single in uh, imputation. By the way, in nowhere here am I saying that I'm going to perform as well on the partially observed data as on the fully observed data. There will be a cost. There will be a drop in performance. Uh, however, I'm telling you that I'm, I'm performing as well as I can. That's something important. Often people want to perform as well on the full data, on the, on the partially observed data as on the full data. In general, this is not possible. <clears throat> now, another procedure, uh, which is a bit brutal, uh, is to impute by a constant. So each time I have a missing value, uh, I'm going to repute, uh, replace it uh, by uh, a constant alpha. Uh, and I can choose my constant uh, the way I wish. I can choose it, for instance, uh, as being the mean in the train set. And I'm going to do this over all my data, over my train set and my test set. And then I need to assume uh, a few things, which are basically some, some regularity assumptions. Uh, uh, first, uh, I'm uh, assuming that uh, my, my, um, my regression, my link between uh, X and Y is uh, sufficiently regular. And those assumptions are here. And then the second, same ID, I'm assuming that my uh, missing mechanism is also uh, sufficiently regular. And here we have uh, uh, made the assumption that we have only one uh, variable on which there is missingness. And the important thing is that uh, the function that gives me the probability of missingness is continuous. Now, given those assumptions, uh, we can show that the uh, base predictor after constant imputation is equal to the base predictor on the original data almost everywhere. Okay, so uh, those are almost everywhere the same function. As a consequence, I can have a procedure that does constant imputation here, followed by a, a learner that is consistent on my data, so a universally consistent learner, this will give me um, a predictor that is uh, um, consistent almost everywhere. And now the almost everywhere is a, is a technical detail, but the, the reason is that I can have collision. And if in my data, I have a, a feature vector uh, that collides with my imputation, then uh, I, will, uh, I will not be consistent here. So if my uh, features are continuous and uh, noisy, this, is, this won't happen. Uh, but if my features are disc discrete and I've chosen alpha as a value of, uh, th that the feature takes, then this will happen. So this is immediately, by the way, an argument for choosing uh, a mean imputation instead of median imputation because median imputation will create those collisions. Okay, But this, this is quite interesting because it's telling us that Imputing by constant, imputing by the mean, for instance, is not a stupid ID if I'm interested in prediction. And the reason is that my uh, uh, learning procedure, 
will capture this and compensate for this. I'm, I'm creating something that is, uh, that is uh, an, um, abnormal in my, in my distribution, my X uh, 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 prime, but my learner is able to detect this and to compensate for this because it's, um, it's a, a universally consistent. And this is an interesting result because it's a strong opposition to uh, the classic missing value uh, practice, which tells you that imputing by constant is disastrous because it will strongly distort your distribution. And the, 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 the reason why we have this, uh, why we depart from uh, this good practice is because we're interested in uh, uh, different goals and because, so risk minimization, and because we use uh, uh, extremely non-parametric um, uh, models, which is basically our universally consistent learning. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we can adapt supervised learning procedures. This will lead us to different trade-offs than classical statistical interference. And this is something to me that's quite important and I'd like to stress. Uh, we have different goals, we have different tools, and, and hence we're not tied by the, the classical good practice. Good imputation is not necessary, as I've shown you. And in uh, our paper, we also um, looked at the risk of tree-based models, uh, such as random forests, uh, and these are interesting and they're used a lot with missing values because they can naturally optimize for input in some discrete spaces. Uh, just like they can naturally optimize for categorical data uh, because they're, they're basically performing a greedy uh, combinatorial optimization. And they're very used in practice for the kind of data uh, for which there is missing values. Mm -hmm. 